Diabetes burnout. It's the reason why I'm here. I'm not home anymore. I'm in a rush to the gym. Why? Because I can't. I can't. Uh, <laughs> don't stop it. Don't stop it. Okay. I'm just saying. Collecting my thoughts. <sighs> All right. I'm in a rush to the gym before my blood sugar gets high. Why? Because I've been binge eating almost a lot. Okay. And I. All right, I'm in a rush to the gym before my blood sugar gets high because I binge eat again today. And those aren't my plans. Every day I wake up and I'm like, you know what? It's a new day. I'm not going to binge eat. And the next thing you know, I get stressed out and I go to food. That's why I'm in a rush and I look super urgent right now and I need to get rid of this now. I talk about diabetes burnout being a big deal. And, um, you know, the past, like, week, I... I, yeah, 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 I've been eating like an animal. <laughs> diabetes burnout. Diabetes burnout. Diabetes burnout. Diabetes burnout. Uh, diabetes burnout. It's something I'm never going to deal with, and I never knew how tiring this disease is. It, it's so tiring, it's ridiculous. Like, people think it's just a shot, and you go about your day, or you take your pills, and you go about your day, or you check your blood, and you go, you never go about your day. I mean, as of right now, I've been diagnosed for two years. That's still baby years. That's still nothing. There's people that have been diagnosed for 50 years, and they're still trying to figure it out. Is Everybody has their own diabetes burnout, and the way I treated it and took care of it, the way I dealt with it was horrible, and it was dangerous. I'm, in ke I'm, I'm speaking to you right now. I'm probably in ketones, and it's a big deal. I should be in the hospital. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I got to this conclusion and I realized that my household was poisonous to me. So diabetes, burnout, is a subject of something else going on in your life. When I, when I overeat, it's not because I'm actually hungry or whatever. It's because I'm dealing with something else in my life that I'm, I'm sick and tired of. And for me, it was not having the support of my family, of being scared to drop out of college and go 100% on having a job, just a temporary job, and doing YouTube. And I felt guilty, so I was half-assing everything, you know? And I hate doing that. So I moved out, not for good. I'm just staying for my grandma's right now. And lo and behold, I stopped binging. And I'm at my cousin's right now, and I'm happy. And I'm living with less, less food. I'm showering at the gym, which I love to. And I just wanted to come to you guys with that, you know. It, my, my, my call to action is figure out why is it, why do you have yourself overeating? Why are you not taking care of your diabetes? Is it something else? It's not just diabetes. So here we are So here we are So here we are It's funny how so close can seem so far Seem so far Seem so far Seem so far Funny how so close can seem